Hey guys, it's Just Cards by Sarah, and today I'm going to do a card tutorial. And what I'm going to do is I'm doing start to finish, and basically I've got out some items that I think will be suitable. This is for my design team with um, my fairy treasures, and I'll be using charms that I was sent. So I'm going to use this um, feather, and I've cut the end off because I you're not going to see it so there was no point having a link and I'm going to use a little teapot and I was also sent die cuts um, my fairy treasures is now doing die cuts um, and you get a pack of three of these um, and basically I was going to um, and you get a pack of I believe eight of these ones okay so what I was thinking was um, it comes black and I've embossed it through my embossing folder that I've got. Hang on, I'll just grab it for you guys. So you start to which one I've used. It's by Craft Concepts. It's this one here. I'll just and it's called Barricade. Barad uh, Barricade. Um and it's Universal Embossing Folder Craft Concepts. So that's what it looks like. So basically then I went over with silver rubber buff that is um, not a colour I normally would use as you guys know I'm with, um, been using a lot of gold lately and the funny thing is I'm not a gold person but I love using gold on the ends of my flowers, my paper and all sorts. So I use this silver and as you can see it's a little trial pot. So I just went over the texture of the embossing folder. And I've also cut out a spool from um, the dress form die from Tim Holtz and I've stamped it using um, Finn's stamps that come in this set of, um, I actually got them at the show and they look like this. So I've stamped it with these and these using the um, Prima chalk inks, the new ones, the permanent ones. This is Madame Boutique paper. So I've cut my papers to size, I have used some doilies, so I've got three here, which I've halved, and I've sprayed it using this Donna Salazar Smooch Spritz, which is like this colour here, but unfortunately um, my bottles, the glass bottles, the Smooch ones, they were sent to me um, from America, and every one has blocked, so I've had to move them into these plastic bottles. Um, I die cut using the move movers and shapers um, dress form from Tim Holtz and I've just put a, a rosette in the middle and some pearls and I've coloured it in blue in those um, chalk inks again. I've got a, a seam binding that I, as you guys know, so I don't waste my ink, I save my ink and I just rub seam binding into it. So I've got all different colours. I've got some medical gauze. I've got some of these stainums. I've got um, some buds, I've got some different flowers, most of these are from Wild Orchid, these two, um, and this one is from my stash, um, and I've also got this um, tape measured tape from Typo, it's a shop in Sydney, well in Australia, and I don't know if it's anywhere else in the world, but this is it here, so it's a typo and spooled ribbon and it comes 5 metres and it looks like this. So I thought that would go really well with a sewing thing. And this is a sewing pattern too, so it kind of blends. And I was sent from Trent Miller a rack um, a little while ago. And he sent me all this um, cardboard, but it wasn't corrugated to start off with. It was like covered and I peeled it back to corrugated. And I went over it with that Inca Gold. Um, what else have I got? I've also got some lace that I don't know if I'm going to use, which I've coloured again with that brown that you saw. I've got some corners that are from My Fairy Treasures. And they look like this to start off with. And I've just cut around there, like that. So I've got two of them that I've cut. Because I thought they should be a bit more delicate for this project. Okay. And what else have I got? I've curled my stems. I've got my metal. Um, and I've also got some bling here. 
Okay, and that's Kaiser Craft, and that's in the latte. And I've also got some stencils, which we're going to do right now. Okay, and I've got um, Tim Holtz measured, measuring tape, sewing, I thought it went really well, and this one called Dot Fade, okay, which I was lucky enough to get sent. Thank you, Irene, for the measured. Okay, let's get cracking back in there. Okay, so I've got my embossing folder, uh, my embossing folder, my um, texture paste. I've been watching too many videos. Um, and what I'm going to do is, this is going to be, what I'm thinking in my head is, I'm going to layer that over the top like that, because I love the intensity of this blue. Okay, and what I was thinking was, down the bottom we're going to layer the measuring tape, and maybe the lace. Okay, like sort of, you know, that would be on top the measuring tape um, and then I was thinking of the die cut to be like obviously the center piece okay but there is two pieces of it so this would like sort of hang over um, and what else am I thinking and I was also thinking of the doilies to go behind this piece so they'll be coming out of each side piece the dress form, I was thinking of having it here, and yes, it is a card, <laughs> um, and maybe the bow over the dress form, um, and maybe the feather, like about here, and then like cluster my flowers here with my stems, and I've got some leftovers that I'm going to spray with these guys, and we're going to use that inside, and we're going to use the little inside. And the corners can go maybe up the top. I don't know yet. Um, so, okay. Let's get cracking. And I was thinking the spool could maybe sit with the cluster. Okay. I don't know if it's going to be too much. But we'll just go with it and see how we go. Okay, let's pull it all apart. Okay, basically what I'm going to take is my blue sheet. And I'm going to take my card base. Okay, I'm going to put my card base to the side for a second. And I'm going to grab a wet one. You know me. Neat trick. Okay. Just move my mouse. This is also my computer desk. So, um, okay, and we're going to use that dot fade one. I think this will be too harsh because it's so big on this one. We are going to use this inside the card um, base, but this one I'm going to use the dot fade on the front one. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take it out of my packaging. Sorry for the rustling. Okay. I love these stencils. I love stencils, period. I've got a little hoard of them now. But, um, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to layer that there. And I like how the design is down the bottom uneven. Okay. And we're just going to randomly put them in some spots. I'm going to take my homemade texture paste and my... Scraper. This is a new scraper I got from a discount store. Um, for the people in Australia, it's called the Reject Shop. Okay, and I'm just going to scrape it. Try to go one way doing this scraping so the stencil doesn't lift and go underneath. Okay, and we're going to kind of put some. I know it, most of it will be covered, but to be honest, it really doesn't matter. going till you're happy with how much you've got. I don't normally do it perfect. Okay, I'm going to have to lift that to move it. It's the only thing, unfortunately, with these littler stencils. You do have to move them. We've got a perfect design there. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Okay, let's just clean that up. Because I don't want my paper to go in it. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing here. Okay, as you guys can see. But bring it up a bit. 
same thing. I'm going to put a little bit here. Don't want much there because we've kind of got a lot already. And the same sort of thing here. Covering those random spots. Smooth it on down. I like to scrape my excess off. No point wasting it. Put it back in my pot. And I'm going to clean my scraper. And we're going to lift and I'm going to clean my stencil. And I'll be right back after that. Okay, and just lift it gently because you don't want it to smudge. And look at that. It's smudged a bit at the top. The great thing is with this, you've sometimes got a bit of time to rub it off. I don't know if it's the talc or what in it, but I, I sometimes have a little bit of time to go in and just neaten up those areas that it's rubbed onto, that you didn't want it. Just don't rub too vigorously because the paper will lose its colour. Okay, I really like that. Okay, so we'll put that to the side. Oops, I didn't oh. realise my camera had stopped. So what I've done is I've masked inside and I've distressed the edges. Okay, what you're going to do now is you just going to smooth those edges back down because it will make it smaller. And I like to get rid of those stray bits. Done. And look how good that masking looks. And I heat set it to make it a bit quicker. Surprise. And I like it really distressed. Um, I use sometimes the Prima one and sometimes the Heidi Swap. I've got the Prima and I've got the Heidi Swap. But I seem to actually love the Prima one, but I, I do like the Heidi Swap. It gives you more of a distressed look rather than a chewed look where the Tim Holtz one I found was a bit more chewed looking but it's all different looks of distress do you know what I mean where the Prima one gives you really distressed look so it just depends what you're going for okay now I'm going to start putting a card together so I'm going to glue that down to my base okay so I'm just going to add glue I'm just using regular clear discount store glue and I've been using that for a while and the and I've been using that for my metal my fabric everything and it works just as well as the helmers so and it's like um five two dollars fifty or something for five hundred um mils so it just works out better they've put the helmers up to twelve dollars and um for like a two hundred mil bottle and I'm not I used to just use tape, and I went through that much tape, it wasn't funny. And then I found out about glue. Watching videos. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to layer this on top. Okay, and what we're doing is we're going to add doilies in on each side. But there's going to be something here, so there's no point having a doily down the bottom. So we're just going to have it. Actually, that's going to be a bit too much. Let's zoom on out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on around the main edges. And I usually do an X in the middle or squiggle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting my doilies. So this was sprayed with that um, Donna Salazar ink. Or you can use um, Distress inks or stains. You don't have to, and I'm just layering it. You can cut these down to size. It just doesn't really matter, it's all hidden anyway. And this one here needs to go a little bit higher. But that's okay, it's out a bit too much. So I'm just going to move that out. We just want it poking just the insuinciest little bit out. I'm going to pull that one off again. How's that? Yeah, that's much better. 
And the great thing is about glue, you've got time to move it. And play. And you can slide it and stuff like that. And I'm just going to put some more glue here because we've put the doily on. Do the same thing. One last bit. I'm over too much. Do you hate that? Okay, now we're just going to go over all the doilies because we don't want any of that moving. Okay, and I'm going to lay that over the top of that square. And this is, like I said, oh, Madame Boutique paper and it's by um, Tyscraft. And of course, I've put the doily at the bottom. if it hangs over the card. That's the beauty of it. That's it. I'm going to push it all down. Pull that one out a bit. Put it straight. Get the glue off. That's it. And then what we're going to start doing is layering our other stuff. So I don't know if it needs lace or if that's too much. You guys think. I think it's maybe a bit too much. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to layer this across, I think, and I like it to hang over the edges, a lot of people freak out about that, but don't worry about it, it's cool, doesn't matter if you hang over. Okay, I'm just going to put some glue on it, sorry you've got my ugly hand in the way, and I'm just going to put that over the bottom. Doesn't matter if you cover up your paper. That's why I did it a little bit higher. And we're just going to flatten that to the card. This is going to go over the top anyway, but it was more just about the... Okay, let's just glue this die cut again. This will hang over just a little bit also. But again, it really doesn't matter. Just bring it down just a bit. I'm just going to glue this separate bit. If you're not happy with those overhang bits, you can cut them or tuck them behind. Make sure it's straight all across. You can do it higher, but the point will be on the, on the line. Does that make sense? Glue this, just break some glue underneath it. Okay, so that's that. So that's where we're up to. Just make sure that's straight, like I said. And that this is straight. Good. Perfect. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start layering. So we've got this. Just here, so we kind of want it still to see the sewing machine, 
so it's about layering in a spot that you're still going to see some of those bits poking out. Okay. Oops, don't you hate when you do that? I'm going to put it about there I think. Isn't that lovely? Okay. Alright, and I'm going to put my bow, actually. I might just layer that next to it. Just some twine again, and like I said, that spool from that die. I'm going to layer it underneath a bit. Got some strings. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe add my bow. Just a little bow for the end of that fabric. And I'm going to put it on an angle. Actually, I wonder if I put it that way it looks any better. Because that bow is going to be there. Actually, I'm not going to worry about it. Might pull it out a bit. We just kind of wanted it as an extra embellishment. If it looks silly, I can pull it out. I think it does look silly, doesn't it? Alright, let's move that over there in a bit. Okay, let's glue this. This is just a regular seam binding. And I'm going to glue it on an angle. Middle. Oh, my nose. Hang on, I'm just going to glue it. Okay, and then I'm going to grab a feather. And again, you can see I'm putting that glue directly onto that feather, not using anything different. I'm just that type of person, I don't want to be using 500 different glues. Okay, and my flowers. Got a blue flower here. Let's see how we go. Okay, so we want the blue there. I would like the purple down the bottom. And I kind of put them on an angle, it gives it more dimension. And I'm going to put the last one on. And I didn't colour these, they were already those colours. Doesn't that look cute? Just make sure that's kind of coming down a bit. And we'll probably fray it with the Tim Holtz frayer. Trent sent me. Okay, now I'm gonna. I got my stems. You know me, and my stems. Can't live without them. I don't know if the corners are gonna go up there because they are. I don't think it'll be too much. Alright, let's add our stems. I don't think I'm going to need cheesecloth on this one. Or um, medical gauze. These guys knew what I meant. It's like 6 a.m. in the morning here. My mum's asleep in the other room. Okay, and I'll put the bud, which I've coloured using this one was white. And I coloured it just using that brown stuff by um, Donna Salazar, the Smooch Spritz. Thank you, Julie, for that. It's actually a beautiful colour. It's so sh it's such a shame those bottles blocked, but those glass bottles. Everyone, they were blocked when they came to me, and then they blocked again since I cleaned them out. So I gave up. Just pull those stems out a bit. It doesn't matter if they hang over, like I said. It's all about the texture, the dimension. Okay, and again, we're going to do the same. But I'm going to have it coming out of the bottom. Okay, so this one can go back here. 
and I save all my stems from when I cut things. Kind of want that all on an angle like that. Yep. Take it up into that corner. Like you can see, I do fiddle a lot with my flowers. And later, when the stems are dry, I will pull them up towards the roof and just have them higher. That's better. I like how that one's sitting better. That's it. That's what we want. kind of just want it like that way. I'm just going to add that little whoops, piece. I'm just going to glue the link and I'm going to have it tucked under my flowers. just want it kind of poking out. I was going to have it dangling but I'm not going to worry about it now. And my feather, I just want that a bit more over. That's it. It's coming together now. I've also got these, but I don't know if they're going to look any good poking out of spots. You can cut them, which is a bit easier. I just like them just poking out a bit. Just to give extra... project. You can keep them on their stems. happy with them I think I cut them too short yep oh yeah got a lot of glue on my hands that's the only problem with working with glue you do get on your hands okay. let's keep going get rid of the glue strand and if you get glue strings you can actually um Use a heat gun and it gets rid of them. Just run it over your project when you're done. Especially like if you're using a heat gun. I've never been one to use heat guns. I hate the strings. I really hate them. Open your flowers up a bit. That one's more in the middle. Okay. As you can see there is some strings and I normally will go back over my bow once it's all a bit dry and just puff up that bow because it gets a bit squished as you guys can see and I'm going to add my corners same thing. And you could go over these with rub and buff, you can uh, alcohol inks, whatever you wanted if you didn't want them silver. You could paint them, you could paint them even white. I know they do come in a number of colours. Okay. 
and you can put you can actually poke in some cheesecloth I might just do that in spots just randomly underneath there and I'm not fluffing it up this time Point it like I normally do. And I'm just going to poke that under my bow again. Just gives a bit of texture. As you guys can see. Okay. And inside what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to have another one of these. But I'm going to cut it up. And I'm going to use that little dress form. Which is going to sit either on like that side and I'll probably have a die cut on the opposite side but this is pretty much my card hope you guys like that it wasn't too long let me know what you guys think and be sure to go check out fairy treasures and oh actually I was going to put bling on it let's see looks I love this bling Break it up a bit. Yeah, I think so. Oops. I love these bling. I use them all the time. They're at about um, the close to three dollars, and I just use them on everything. The latte colour. I use the latte and chino the most. Okay, I think that's it. You could even like tuck lace in if you wanted to. I'm not going to. Um, but if you wanted to, you could. I'm just gonna move that up because you want to be able to see them. Like I said, I'll wait till that's a bit drier, and I'll go in with Trent, that thing that Trent sent me. Um, it's by Tim Holtz again, and it's like a scratcher. And I just scratch the ends of my seam bunny. Looks like that at the ends. Give it that vintage worn look. Another glue string. You know me, glue strings. I think the problem is I'm a perfectionist too, so. I give them dimension by lifting them like that. Don't use a 
one way is using your poker, like the Tim Holtz poker, and you can go in and just manipulate the flowers a bit. Okay, this is my card. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Hopefully you guys like that. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.